Are you tired of unnecessary fields cluttering your MongoDB database? It can be frustrating to see data you don't need taking up space. If this sounds like you, stick around because today we're going to show you how to strip those unwanted fields from your TypeScript interface object. I completely understand your concern. It's annoying when you receive a JSON response filled with extra fields that you don't want. You're definitely not alone in this. Many developers face this issue when working with APIs and databases. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, how can I remove unnecessary fields from a JSON response before storing it in MongoDB? They provided an example where they were parsing a JSON object, but ended up with fields they didn't need. Sound familiar? Let's explore how to tackle this problem. So, what's the root of the issue? When you parse a JSON object in TypeScript, it can include all fields from the original response. If your interface only defines certain fields, you need a way to filter out the rest. Let's break this down step by step. And don't go anywhere. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make your data handling even smoother. To remove unnecessary fields from the JSON response before storing it in MongoDB, the user can create a function that filters out the unwanted properties. This function will take the parsed JSON object as input. Next, the user should apply this function to the parsed JSON object. This will ensure that only the required fields are retained before saving it to the database. Now the user can proceed to save the filtered data into MongoDB. This step involves using Mongoose to create a new document with the filtered object. Finally, the user should verify that the data has been stored correctly in MongoDB. This can be done by querying the database and checking the saved documents. Fun fact, did you know that the first JSON format was introduced in 2001? It has since become a staple in web development, making data interchange easier than ever. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves removing the unwanted field by setting it to undefined. In this case, to remove the age field from the object, you can use the spread operator to create a new object with age set to undefined. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative approach shared by another user involves destructuring an object to remove unwanted fields. For example, if you have an object with fields A, B, and C, you can create a new object that only includes A and B by using destructuring syntax. This method is flexible. If the field you want to remove doesn't exist, like field D in this example, it won't throw an error. Instead, D will simply be undefined. Now, let's dive into a different answer from another user. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves defining a dummy object that matches your interface. By using this dummy object, you can filter the fields of incoming objects against the keys of the dummy. This ensures that if you change your interface, the TypeScript compiler will alert you to update your filtering code as well. Here's the quick tip I promised. Always validate your JSON responses before parsing them. This will help you catch any unwanted fields early on and save you time in the long run. And there you have it. You now know how to strip unnecessary fields from your TypeScript interface object before storing data in MongoDB. Remember, keeping your data clean is essential for efficient database management. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.